Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Pause and Effect. Uh, I'm your host CJ and today I'm going to be playing a nifty little game called Ultros. Now there was a time where I very briefly covered this when, um, oh wait, what's happening? Something's happening. You hope it's a miracle. Okay. So this is supposed to be a Metroidvania with very psychedelic visuals set in, um, an outer space type region. Oh shoot, sorry. I don't know a whole lot about it. I just know that uh, a P PlayStation State of Play showed this one time and I remember covering it. Well, either way, uh, the demo's out now, so let's give it a shot. Also, I would like to point this out, or actually let me just uh, see this really fast. Does that moon have an eyeball? I'm disturbed. All right, let's see. How's this gonna load? Where am I? somehow I'm alive okay so I would like to point this out before I continue so this game the video for Ultros is being recorded or by the uh, 7th of uh, February 2024 so that's the current day by the time this video goes up which will be the 12th the game will be released the very next day on uh, the on uh, February 13th so please keep an eye out for that if this game interests you so with that being said well I'm going quick am I, am I supposed to just run back Hmm. Okay, my monitor is doing something really strange. Maybe it's about time I get a new one. And of course. You can tell, I think, that all of this is uh, hand-drawn. Or at least it looks that way to me. I have no way of attacking right now. Oh, there's a sword. Unrest Tonto? A short sword of relatively low echelon plucked from a fallen corpse. The Tonto nails a rhythm a rhythmic hum. Be patient, but never deal with hesitation. What? Oh, the light! For the sake of Marduk's eyes, damn that hurts! Huh? You there, can you hear me? Great, an audience of one. Behold, the umpteenth failed attempt to make a grand escape from this, this sarcophagus. I know what needs to be done, but the messed up continuum around here. Never mind. Listen, I need your help. Just give me a moment to get my head straight. Meet me up ahead and I'll show you, okay? I'll explain everything. What the Cthulhu ghost was that? Oh, some enemy attacks can be countered. I see. Oh, 
Okay. Interesting. Bit of a roundabout way of going around things, but... You can't tell if I just went in the exact opposite direction of what I was supposed to do. Ah, uh, yep. Okay. What kind of washing machine is this? Where am I? Oh, this is where I save. Cortex memories can be unlocked in the Cortex. Each memory needs a specific amount of nutrition to be unlocked. Get nutrition by eating. Huh, almost reminds me of a ghost song in a way. Wait, what happens if I go back this way? Temple of Motherhood? What? Merchant man, I could have sworn that I planted something in that there fertile spot. Gardener, gardener. Oh, our day greets you, my friend. Imagine this, I was just about to bury a delicate seed in this rich soil. But then I asked myself, gardener, you drifting cloud, didn't you sow here already? Oh, same thing. Hmm. Gardener, gardener. Luckily, I have many seeds. It's never too late to start anew. I have no idea what's going on. Oh. I do like that your air that your uh, aerial thing is a screw attack. So weird. Ooh. 
Ooh, save point. Oh, I get how the system works now. So keep eating in order to level up certain stats, and then when certain stats are at their highest, because it's a nutrition-based thing. Whew. Sorry for the confusion. I just had to find my bearings. Things get blurry in here, and I've been stuck since forever and a day. I'm Wallet, with eyes that spy in all directions. <laughs> Forget it, just a bureau thing. Anyways. Further ahead, there's a bastard of a shaman hooked to a pod. Here, have a look. Okay. On the way over there, huh? This shaman bastard sustains the illusion and messes with the continuum, keeping anyone from getting out. You must go there and bash that pod real good. Getting out of here is only possible if the illusion shatters. <coughs> I beg of you before you lose your mind like the others. That was cool. I am Ogu Moomin. So I can't break that yet. I see. Okay. What is happening right now? Okay, it, I just ate a plant with an eyeball attached to it. Where's my food stuff? How is that possible? How do I get that? It's just stuck in the damn wall. Okay. What did I go to all that trouble for? Whoa. Ow. Wait. 
weird. A memory from the sarcophagus. Deliverance. The path to deliverance goes through trials and tribulations. I ro trials make us strong, and I know I have to be stronger. I am the one. Hmm, excuse me. To carry out the promise, I am Qualia. So this is a garden. Okay, now. What the? I don't know what just happened there. Use heavy attacks to break enemy guards. You know, the hand-drawn aspect of this is really nice, but am I crazy for thinking that part of this could be so much more? Because it's like all the, all the walkable parts are just black. I don't know, I feel like you don't necessarily need everything to be like just blacked out for it to be uh, playable like this. Because, I mean, look, look at games like uh, Hollow Knight, The Last Faith, uh, Blasphemous, Bloodstained. All of their, uh, all of their, like, foreground objects that you can physically interact with have, um, have, like, actual color to them. Like, I'm not trying to knock it, it just feels really odd. So I've just been randomly unlocking stuff I haven't quite actually given a lot of thought into what I've been unlocking. So, third hit to the combo, gardens appear on the map, hit enemy projectiles, a quick double kick with juggling potential performed by pushing up X at the same time while jumping, sneak up on enemies from behind. Eh, interesting. Hmm. This game is cool. I... But I don't know what it is about this game. I'm just feeling really sleepy. Use var varied attacks to defeat your prey and get the best spoils.
my god, dude. Oh, cool, eating auto heals. What is happening? Okay, I'm backtracking at this point. Another thing of Oku Moomin? Boom gland. Kind of fun. I do kind of like the idea that if you just run for a while without really doing anything, auto speed booster kicks in. Oops.
takes care of that. Oh, is this about where I was? It's never too late to start anew. I need a double jump or something. But what I also really need... Well, it's apparently outside of the Temple of Motherhood, so okay. He's zooming. So let's see, drop kick. Perform a drop kick by pushing down B while jumping. Repeated hits are considered varied as long as you are airborne. Interesting. So realistically, I need to go back the way I came and go back the other way. Good thing there's no fall damage. that too. Can't really go up this way. Okay, I need another seed, it would seem. But where am I gonna get that? Huh, I spoke too soon. can't even jump up to either of these. What do I do? Am 
Well, either way. Save that. And you know what? I like this game, but I think I'm going to uh, like cut the video here because there's a part of me that's like, do I really want to go to like farther than this? Or do I want to save some surprises exclusively for myself? And I think the choice is a little of A, a little of B. But yeah, this has been uh, Ultros. So like I said at the beginning of the video, this game comes out on February 13th, 2024. As, as per uh, what the Steam store says. Uh, this video was recorded on the uh, 7th. Of February 2024 so this video is set to go live the day before the game comes out so either way um yeah de I'm definitely going to uh, probably give this game a shot on an actual stream uh, sometime in the future however I don't know if I would pay $25 for this like it seems really cool and I like how it plays but again $25 yeah I don't know but either way, uh, that's going to be the end of the video, everybody. Please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you next time. Have fun.